Comparative Study of the Rheological Properties of Wrap Binder and Modified Bituminous Binder Abstract Wrap, Reclaimed Asphalt Pavement, is one of the most replaced materials getting used in asphalt mix for paving the asphalt roads, Wrap Binder is conglomerate in nature and ascertained to know the adhesiveness and representation of its property is a very challenging assignment. In the recent years, the researchers are focusing on the rheological and creep characteristics, which affect the lifespan of the pavement while construction and after years later. As there are numerous mechanisms to enumerate the viscosity of the wrap binder. Dynamic shear rheometer, DSR, test, which is one of functional tests which is used to determine the flow behavior, rheological property, and the stiffness modulus. Therefore, the paper is focused on the thermoviscous property of modified bituminous binders and distress like rutting factor and fatigue factor. Experimentally work is carried out on wrap binder, CRMB55, VG30 and modified binders. The fatigue resistance factor, G sin, D, rutting resistance factor, G slash sin, D, complex modulus, G asterisk, and phase angle, D, parameters are obtained from DSR, the rheological parameter are also collected for the condition from the tests right fought for short term aging and POV for long term aging. The results observed after the experimental work the wrap binder along with the combination of the V30 and LS Tomer modifier gave better rutting and fatigue resistance and presence of CRMB have good fatigue resistance value at the intermediate temperature and elastic response compared to all other. Keywords, reclaimed asphalt pavement, rheology, modified binders, rejuvenator, DSR. One introduction. Indian traffic is heterogeneous. There is a tremendous increase in the traffic load and axle wheel loads and pavement temperature and thereby it's a duty of highway engineering authorities, to improve the performance of pavement materials. Bitumen is one of the vital product, which plays a crucial role in the overall performance of the pavement lifespan. As it is viscoelastic and these properties are usually measured where the relationship between stresses and strains is influenced only by the temperature and loading time and not by their magnitude, linear viscoelastic condition, LV. The rheological properties are important concepts that are studied by the researchers to the core, as it is related to the distresses like characteristic rutting, fatigue, short-term, and long-term aging of the bitumen. In general, most of the Indian flexible pavements are constructed by using virgin bitumen polymer and modified bitumen. Polymer modified bitumen can improve low temperature susceptibility, which also decreases the creep stiffness. As the temperature susceptibility is decreased in order to increase the stiffness and penetration index. The crumb rubber is considered as a modifier that makes the bitumen to withstand high temperature, also increases riding comfort and life of the pavement. By addition of the crumb rubber we can see the increase in the softening point and the reduction in the brittle point. It also observed that there is significant improvement in the resilient modulus, MR, stiffness modulus, and increases stability and fatigue life. The results showed that CRM has a significant effect on bitumen rheology, which is it increases complex shear modulus G asterisk and decreases phase angle. It is necessary to study the viscoelastic property of those bituminous binder and their time temperature recovery when the applied load is removed. There are various that factors affect the performance of the pavement structure. Aging is one among them, which affects the performance of pavement and also hardens the surface of the pavement as the temperature increases. To find the effect of the aging two tests performed and which are performed only for the polymer modified bitumen. The rolling thin film oven test, right fought, and pressure aging vessels, POV are existing methods for testing the aging effects, right fought is performed find the effect of the short term aging which occur before and while constructing the road for the short duration whereas the POV is the long term effect which occurs after several years, these effects should be thoroughly studied and rheology characteristics. Currently, usage of wrap in the construction of new pavement, became one of trending technique to provide the sustainability for the future generation, without realizing wrap binder reaction with the virgin bitumen, Elastic modified bituminous binder, rejuvenator, and other additives, they are designed for the mix as per the standards. The study of rheology characteristics of wrap binder is important as it contains lots of binder and the fines which are entrapped in film of binder. Here, this paper is focused on the viscoelastic and stiffness characteristics of the bituminous binder and the proper percentage of the wrap in the road construction. And its effect at the low and high temperatures with various percentages of the Ellis Tomer modifier bitumen, virgin bitumen, rejuvenator, and the cellulose fiber. 1.1 Background The bitumen is characterized by a chemical composition by separating different groups or fractions based on chemical reactivity, chromatography, molecular size, spectroscopic and precipitation or solubility, Bell 198, Yautchef and Jones 1994. 
The hydrocarbon molecules in bitumen are of three broad group structures namely aliphatic, cyclic, and aromatics, Robertson 1991. Berkers 2005, Polico ETAL, 2008, Jones 1992, Lesueur 2009. The molecules are nonpolar if it is a single structure, but if the structure is combined the molecules become polar. The distresses are related to the rheological properties of bitumen, and influence of crumb rubber modifier, CRM, on the rheological properties of bitumen binders such as improvement of high and intermediate temperature is investigated in the binders fatigue and rutting resistance through physical rheological changes in the research, Asim Hassan Ali ETAL 2013, and concluded that crumb rubber modifier increased the stiffness of the bitumen binder improving its resistance to rutting. The higher crumb rubber content, the lower G asterisk sind at 31 degrees Celsius after POV aging, which led to higher resistance to fatigue cracking. Also, the introduction of wrap binder in the construction of the new pavement with similar functional requirements as the virgin bitumen by adding additives are commonly termed as rejuvenator. The capability of the rejuvenators is measured using the DSR, later the microstructure of the virgin binder and rejuvenated blends are obtained utilizing the atomic force of microscopy, SN Nahur ETAL 2014, studied and as a result, complex modulus value is increased with an aging master curve. At 20% addition of rejuvenator, the master curve overlaps with virgin bitumen. The properties of the binder are modified using SBR for the binder V30. The rheological properties were evaluated using the DSR, the short-term aging was done by using the right foot and long-term aging was done by using POV. Mozam Ali Mogul 2015, as a result, the viscoelastic properties of the original binder, complex modulus also increased and resistance of mix against rutting showed a very good improvement. Fatigue cracking was reduced. The short-term and long-term aging of bitumen for five samples of modified bitumen with SBS and with or without crumb rubber 25. By using the SBS there is an increase in the complex modulus throughout the frequency range and reduction in the phase angle at the increase in the temperature. Mahdi Ali 2018, dot the presence of rubber increases the elastic response of the binder at increased temperature even after aging. The presence of rubber reduces the fatigue life at 9% SBS. 2 Experimental Procedure 2.1 Materials Used for Testing a total of 48 samples with combination of wrap binder from pure wrap binder to different percentage of VG30, CRMB55, waste engine oil, WEO, and M, Ella's Tomer modifier, are used which is listed in detail in Table 1. First samples is A1 reclaimed asphalt pavement, A2 viscosity grade bitumen 30 and CRMB55 crumb rubber modified bitumen 55. Second set of samples are categorized in order to determine which combination of modified bitumen will enhance rheological property, viscoelastic properties, of wrap binder. Among these samples, the four samples are chosen for the rheological parameter have shown the good behavior in terms of the martial stability, running resistance, and cracking or fatigue resistance which are A1, BC14, BC27 and BC46. Wrap binder, the wrap materials are procured from NH206, where the existing two-lane flexible pavement is removed to construct the cement concrete pavement from the Karnataka on the Pradesh border to Chittur, India. The pavement was 15 to 20 years old as per the records. The basic properties of these aggregates are tested and they are within the limits as per Mort and H specifications. Three testing procedures. 3.1 Simple distillation test, separation test The wrap binder is separated into two stages, centrifugal extraction and simple distillation process. To extract the binder from the wrap, aggregates are soaked in benzene liquid for the 24 hours the binder is extracted by centrifugal extractor. The combination of the binder and benzene is obtained. Further, the binder should be separated from the benzene for that simple distillation process is followed. The liquid is sent to the round bottom flask, and as a result of the process the benzene is obtained as the product in container and binder is left over in the flask. This is because of boiling of the benzene is 80. Finally, the pure wrap binder is obtained. 3.2 Short-Term Aging and Long-Term Aging Analysis Rolling thin film oven test, right foot it is the process to find the loss in the materials for the shortest duration in the laboratory. This test can be completed to move rapidly than the thon film oven test, TFOT, ASTM D2872, this test is preferred for the polymer modified binders. It contains about 8 containers, each of them is filled with 35 G of sample. Later, fixed to a rotating shelf, hot air is blown. The test is carried at a temperature of 163. 
for 75 minutes. And finally, the samples are weighed before and after the test and calculated as per the specifications. Long-term aging occurs in asphalt pavement in the field as a result of exposure to traffic and climate conditions during its service life. As per the SHPR, the rutting or superpave factor is defined as the ratio of the G/SND if the correlation between the unaged sample and the right fought sample is good at the temperature of the ratio G/SND equals 2.2 kPa and at frequency equals 10 radian/s, then we can consider the original unaged sample for the further rheological characteristics testing without aging the sample further in laboratory for pressure aging vessel POV test. It processed to find the loss in the materials for the service life in the laboratory. It performed after the right FOT slash TFOT for 20 hours, values are tabulated in the table 2. The CRMB in the sample 3. 70% RAP plus 30% CRMB 55 plus WEO, is subjected to the short term aging and later it is blended with the RAP binder and the rejuvenator and tested under the DSR testing machine. As per the SHPR, the fatigue or cracking resistance factor is defined as the ratio of the GX and D if the correlation between the unaged sample and the POV sample is good at the temperature of the ratio GX and D equals 5000 kPa and at frequency equals 10 radian slash S, then we can consider the original unaged sample for the further rheological characteristics without aging the sample further in laboratory. 3.3 Dynamic Shear Rheometer, DSR, test, to check the rheological property of the bitumen, the dynamic shear rheometer, DSR Ashto T315, is used. The sample is placed in between the plates, concentric plates, and trimmed the excess of the sample, the temperature sweep started at mid-range of the temperature and varied as per test specification. The test is performed with five different temperature 70, 80, 90, 100, and 110. The appropriate strain is selected from the code while performing the test. So the software can control the stress level automatically. When the temperature has equilibrated, condition the sample by applying the required strain for a recommended 10 cycles or of 8 to 16 cycles at a frequency 0 F10 rad slash section because it is simulate the shearing action corresponding to the traffic speed of 90 km slash HR, Ashto T315, and more vital thing is test should be completed within 4 hours. The parameters like complex modulus, G asterisk, phase shift angle, D, Storage modulus, G, loss modulus, G. For results and discussion. By rheological characteristics, which are obtained after the performed after the dynamic shear test, DSR, we can relate those characteristics by application of the time temperature superposition, TDS, principle, which determines the temperature dependent mechanical properties of linear viscoelastic materials. Out of 48 samples, samples which satisfied the rheological properties are discussed detailed in this paper. Master curve, by the concept time temperature superposition the master curve is developed, the master curves can be used to represent the behavior of the material in a wide range of time or frequencies where the trend of load is determined by the only experimental curve that encloses both effects of time and temperature. These master curves can be constructed either in the time domain or in the temperature domain. In their simplest form, master curves are produced by manually shifting modulus versus frequency plots at different temperatures along the logarithmic frequency axis to produce a smooth master curve the nature of curve resemble the hyperbola and the scale of the graph is log log graph as shown in the below figure fig 2 represents the master curve of the reclaimed asphalt pavement wrap binder it is observed that bituminous binder at low frequency and high temperature acts as the completely as elastic materials as the phase angle is reducing from the 90 degrees at the low temperature and high frequency, the binder the wrap binder acts the viscoelastic materials. It also observed that the complex modulus G asterisk, at 70. The value is initial less and as the frequency increases the complex modulus increased. From the graph, we can conclude that the wrap is acted as less elastic at high temperature, high frequency. Fig 3 shows the master curve of BC14, where it contains 40% of wrap and 60% of CRMB55. From the graph, it is observed that the phase angle is increased from the lower frequency to higher frequency as the temperature is increased. But especially, it is observed that at 110, the phase angle almost zero that represents the sample is completely vicious. The G asterisk at low temperature and high frequency shows the maximum value. Finally, the sample is showing that the phase angle increases with frequency and temperature, it is changing from viscous to elastic state. Fig 4 shows the master curve for the sample BC27. 
the bitumen sample shows the phase angle is decreasing as the angular frequency and temperature increases meanwhile complex shear modulus decreases with an increase in the temperature and the frequency as well as the phase angle at 110. Initially it is gradually increasing from lower frequency up to the intermediate frequency, temperature, and as it increases we can observe the gradual decrease in phase angle. The sample is converted into viscous material as the temperature rises. The master curve of the sample BC46 is as shown in Fig 5. The complex shear modulus G asterisk, at low temperature and high frequency, shows the highest value compared to the other temperatures. Whereas the phase angle is increased with the rise in the temperature and the frequency but eventually there is little drop in the phase angle. Finally, the sample is changing from viscous state to the elastic state. Relationship between fatigue factor and temperature. Fig 6 shows the relationship between fatigue parameters and temperature. Fatigue is one of the important distress, the fatigue resistance factor is caused mainly due to repeatedly applied load and the micro cracks of the pavement because of the stiffness of the bituminous binder. The fatigue resistance factor, G star dot sin D, is increased for the sample BC14 and BC46 as compared to the sample BC14 comparatively, we can observe that RAP is having high fatigue resistance compared to other samples. The fatigue resistance decreases with an increase in temperature. Fig 7 represents the effect of the temperature on the rutting resistance factor at 5 different temperature at 70, 80, 90, 100, and 110, respectively. The rutting is one of the important distress in the pavement and stiff characteristics. The rutting parameter is obtained from the DSR testing, the G asterisk slash sin D of sample A1 is varying with temperature. Sample BC27 is having low rutting resistance compared to all other samples, sample BC14 and BC46 are having same values at 80. Compared to all the samples the sample BC46 is having the highest and improved rutting resistance factor. Relation between storage modulus, G, and loss modulus, G, as a function of temperature. Fig 8 the relation between loss modulus and storage modulus with the temperature. The storage modulus, G, is one parameter to measure the elasticity of binder, the binder acts as viscous materials as the temperature is increasing. The loss modulus, G, is related to the viscous property of the binders, and the storage modulus of sample A1 is having the least value and the mentioned earlier that for the wrap binder and improved later after adding the modifiers. All sample BC46 shows predominant viscous properties at temperature 70 to 110. As shown in figure 7. Finally from results, we can conclude that the storage modulus and loss modulus depends on the temperature, binder content, and the polymer percentages. Fig 9 temperature when G asterisk slash send equals 2.2 kPa for unaged binder and right foot aged binders for the sample BC27. Fig 9 represents the temperature when G asterisk slash sin D equals 2.2 kPa for unaged binder and right foot aged binders for the sample BC27, by using the Microsoft Excel software the multiple regression and the correlation R square is calculated R0.9472 and 0.897345. 0.9 by comparison the unaged and right foot binder sample can match up to the 90% confidence limit. This short-term aged sample can be easily matched with the unaged binder sample without subjecting it to the right FOT test. Fig 10 represents the temperature when G asterisk X sin D equals 5000 kPa for unaged binder and right FOT aged binders for the sample BC27, by using the Microsoft Excel software the multiple regression and the correlation R square is calculated R0.832033 and 0.8413. 0.85 by comparison the unaged and POV binder sample can match up to the 85% confidence limit, this long-term aged sample can be easily matched with the unaged binder sample without subjecting it to the POV test. 5 Concluding Remarks Based on the laboratory investigation, the main conclusions are drawn as following. Subsequently carrying out the precise experiment performed by the DSR test, the combination of wrap binder and VG30, M as the elevated numerical value of complex modulus at 100 rad slash S at 100. Is 16 asterisk 104, PA, which stands for the elastic nature, which demonstrate increasing resistance contrary to cutting. As the viscosity of the crumb rubber reduces as the shear rate increases, the bitumen is separate from each other and the flow increases. The presence of crumb rubber in the wrap bituminous binder along with the rejuvenator at high temperature is being revealed more elastic response. Detailed investigation performed was carried out by using the DSR test and it is performed from the low to high frequencies, 0.01 Hz to 100 Hz, 
the fatigue resistance for the combinations of both crumb rubber along with rejuvenator, and the virgin binder along the with cellulose fiber with respect to wrap binder at the intermediate temperature have better resistances. In comparison to all samples, prepared in laboratory and carrying out the DSR test and the numerical values were obtained. The sample BC14 and sample BC46 have the comparable fatigue resistance factor values i.e., 5.5104 pa and 6.04104 pa respectively at the temperature 70. Of frequency 100 rad slash s. Finally, we can interpret the wrap binder along with the virgin bitumen with the combination of the cellulose fiber showed better resistance for the fatigue factors. Although the wrap is one which is available in vast amount and it's a challenging part is the increase in concerns about the conceivable negative effect of the aged wrap binder on the field performance, principally fatigue, and the rutting resistances of the high wrap mixtures as a part the project, wrap is being used as part asphalt motor, and to bring down the environmental hazardous. In the present research, the rheological parameters like G, G slash sin D, G star. Sin D and D for the sample BC46 have a superior value compared to all other samples, this can be used for the high traffic condition at 70. Temperature and the sample BC14 can be used in the moderate traffic condition and low cost roads.